Buenos dias. Um, I found the book. This book is called Unfuck Your Anger. Um, the next gig that I'm doing, the next um, role that I'm playing, has like these really interesting angry outbursts and I wanted to go and um, in between reading books I've always wanted to re um, research anger as an emotion and figure out why my character um, goes there or does that as a result of something else that happened and I have another couple of books I'm gonna read about it but I don't know where I put them and um, this book was super amazing well all of the books are amazing but this one was wicked because actually i'm a geek and this has a lot of science in it and like big words i can't say like the new blah the new blah blah gada. that's not a word but the i'm i'm a glider i'm i'm <laughs> just you know stuff about the brain and like i'm really really interested in the way that the brain works and why we do things um and how we build habits and coping mechanisms and the um, repetition, I guess, of life and what it does to our brain and like our patterns and how, anyway, it was really good because a lot of the books I read are um, quite spiritual in that sense and this was just, it was just pure science. It's about chemicals and it's about endorphins and it's about why one thing would lead to another thing. Um, it does have a common denominator with the other spiritual books about, and I wrote it down, but I know exactly where it is, the observer, um, observer principle, it's called here, and then in the untethered soul, it was called the witness, and, um, in, in the pilgrimage, you know what I mean? It's this other part of you that can, as soon as you shine awareness into whatever it is that you are either experiencing or going through in that sense, you're already halfway there to understanding the, 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 the thing the problem, the issue, I don't know if I want to call it that, understanding it and therefore being able to change it. Because once you understand it, then you have a perspective of going, okay, what do I need to do to make sure that I don't, I'm not in that place again or I don't. Do you know what I mean? Which is great about the, it's just, oh, I always say it's a great book, it's a great book, but look, I'm good at picking books, you know. I'm really good at picking books. Anyway, notes. <laughs> okay, so these are just some quotes I pulled out. We are the product of our experiences. What has happened to us, what we have witnessed, and what we are taught by others. Um, this is a good one. Learning to proactively respond to our own physiological responses isn't easy, no matter what the love, light, and Instagram gurus tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so those were just a couple of thoughts that I pulled out from um, the book. Like, I make so many notes that if I should read all of them, this would go on for ages. But this is really, this is a really, really good book because it gives you, like, reasons. I don't know if you can see it. Reasons and, like, um, act... Uh, things that you can do to actively help whatever it is, the emotion that's affecting your day-to-day -day life. Um, for, and for this book, it's anger, but I reckon you could apply it to anything if it was uh, anxiety or if it was, um, what's that word when you don't, you can't really see yourself for who you are. You know, you, it's almost, it's basically anxiety and all those other things. So. It also gives you, in this tiny, amazing book, um, you can tell I just woke up because I can barely think <laughs> or speak. It also gives you um, activities for everybody, able-bodied um, and anybody to do when you feel either angry or fear and like meditation exercises and like even little things like singing 
it helps you take your mind off it, which I think is just, I really think it's dope. And um, I've like folded so many pages, part, partially for work and partially for my own like understanding of chemical imbalances and how to um, let them pass or, um, you know, work through them, which is great. There was also this thing that I think was really, really interested. So interesting. So um, I'm going to read it real quick. The 90 second emotion rule. Having a healthy relationship with our anger is really fucking hard. I'm well aware. One of the things that helps the most, knowing there is a time limit to every emotion we feel, including anger. Buddhist practitioners have been saying this for thousands of years and in recent years, science has shown it to be true. When looking at stroke research, scientists have been able to measure the amount of time an emotion lasts in the brain. It's 90 seconds. Because an emotion is just supposed to be information. It doesn't last unless we ho I've got hand gestures today unless we hold on to it if we I don't know how to say this word per sir no per perseverate p e r s e v e r a t perseverate I think and fuck ourselves over every uncomfortable thing we feel then yeah we stay angry for hours days weeks months even years Anger stops being a brief emotion and starts being our everyday mood. Our stress response turns on. It also explains earlier on in the book how we have stress responses which um, trigger our fight, flight or freeze. So whenever things happen, that goes on. But you could leave it on and stay in that place, which is obviously not healthy for the body or for the mind. And conversely, if we try to ignore our anger and not feel it, it festers under the surface and leaks out at all the wrong moments, our stress response still stays tuned on. Have you ever hold, Have you ever tried to hold on to a beach ball underwater? Suppressed anger is just like that. Anger is a signal to activate our stress response in case we need to jump into our animal survival technique techniques. I mean, techniques. Animal survival skills. If we just feel our anger, if we recognize and name it, then the chemical response going on in the brain. The system that got the amygdala, no, amygdala, amy, <laughs> a-m-y-g-d-a-l-a, -A, all fired up to begin with, settles down very quickly. We, because we paid attention to the message it was giving us, the trick with emotions is to use them just for what they are, information to take into consideration not necessarily to be acted on with our initial impulses, maybe not acted upon at all, just another piece of evidence to consider before you respond. I think this book is dope. And I literally read it in a day. So, if you're a geek like me and you want to know about chemicals and stuff in the brim, this is a good one. Because it's short, sweet and... It's a, it's a sweet one. Yeah. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. I'm going to go start.